Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by the garden today. I just wanted to go over a little video on how to tell when your succulents need watering because a lot of my succulents do not need water right now. The climates have been really, really crazy. So we've been getting like 40 degrees and then one week it's 85 and then the next night it's 40. So my succulents really don't know what's going on. The best way to tell if they need water, I still do this to this day, is by feeling the bottom leaves. And just remember, the bigger and more plump these leaves are, the less water they're gonna need, the more drought tolerant they are. The tinier the leaves are and the thinner the leaves are, the more water they can tolerate. So this guy's gonna tolerate a little more waterings than this guy. These are my jades and these get watered in the summertime, maybe once a week to twice a week, depending on what's going on in the climate. I plucked this little leaf off on the bottom so you can see what wrinkling looks like. This leaf is really starting to wrinkle and when I squeeze it, it's not exploding. You can just see it's really wrinkly. Now I usually let them go a little bit longer than that. So they're just starting to get deflated a little bit. The leaves are still really nice and plump. And when I squeeze them, you can feel that they're starting to lose a little bit of water. But if I watered right away, they, they would tend to get overwatered here in Florida because we do have a lot of humidity. So I usually wait another couple of days for my jades. Something that's really tiny in leaves, like this little corsula right here, this thing I water maybe twice a week. Even in the winter sometimes, if we have really dry climate and the sun's beating on them, I water twice a week. This little guy needs water because I can bend these leaves and they're really wrinkly at the bottom. So here, let me get a little picture so you guys can see what this looks like because this is the telltale sign that your plants need water. Succulents will survive underwatering, but they won't usually survive overwatering. So just remember that. You can see this leaf is really bendy. I can bend it, it's wrinkling, and these up top are really plump. We can't bend them or anything. So I know that this container needs water and we're gonna water that together right now. Succulents like to be soaked all the way through to the bottom till it drains out. Then you can discard that tray after about 15 minutes and then after that 15 minutes, you're good to go. You just let them soak up all that water in that tray, discard any water left in that tray after that 15 minutes, then you know your succulent's good to go until it starts deflating on the leaves again on the bottom. So usually I water with a watering can, but for small stuff like this or like an arrangement where it's really hard to get in with my nozzle, I like to water with this little thing. And I just soak the, those pots all the way through till it drains out of the bottom. I might have to do this a few times within a few minutes. And um, as soon as it soaks up all that water out of that tray on the bottom, we can go ahead and discard that after about 15 minutes. I also wanted to show you what um, underwatering looks like on an echeveria because this echeveria right here needs water. You can see that these leaves up top are really plump. So when I squeeze it, they're plump, they're not moving, and you wanna squeeze gently. You don't wanna squeeze hard because you can really damage that succulent. These bottom leaves need water. So if you squeeze the bottom leaves and feel them, this has a powdery coating. A lot of succulents have a coating on them. So touching all the leaves will take that coating off and it won't come back. So just be careful if you wanna to touch the bottom leaves. Don't end up messing up your top. And you can tell this bottom, bottom set here needs water. You see that wrinkling on that leaf right there? It's not exploded, it's not yellowing, it's not darkening. The leaf's not darkening when I'm touching it. We're gonna go one more leaf up and test it. Okay, so I know that's still wrinkling. We're gonna go ahead and give this guy a good soak all the way through with my watering thing. We're gonna soak that soil till it drains out of the bottom, let it seep in, same thing as the other one. They like to be doused all the way through and then have a dry period in between the watering. So by dry period, it depends what time of year it is, if they're dormant or not. So knowing the dormancy of your succulents is really, really important to tell when they need waterings and how much. Jades, these jades right here only need waterings maybe in the winter time for me once a month to twice a month. Compared to the summertime, I water once a week. So it all depends on what's going on in the climate. Just remember, the bigger the leaves, the less water they're usually going to need. And by feeling those bottom leaves, that'll really help you to determine when to water your succulents and in no time, in a couple of weeks of you know keeping an eye on them and getting to know them, you'll realize, okay, well, just by looking at it, you can tell that this guy, all right, you haven't watered in three weeks and it's summertime and he's looking a little rough. Okay, you'll know you have to water. These leaves are really plump on the bottom. You can see I'm squeezing it. These break really easily, these little topsy-turvies echeverias, so you don't wanna squeeze too hard but you can see that it's really, really plump. This would be really wrinkly if it needed water and really deflated. 
not mushy, just deflated feeling. If you guys need any help at all on watering and how to determine if your succulents need water, if you need any more information on them or want to see anything else, me water anything else here, let me know. And I'd love to help you in any way I can on any kind of succulent that I have here. If it's something I've dealt with before, I'd just love to help you guys grow these because they are amazing to grow. And once you get the hang of them, they become really, really easy. They're very drought tolerant. They're an easy plant to keep and you don't really have to maintenance them too much. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.